Stewart is a trailblazer, a black entrepreneur, and the last of 16 children, but the legacy he built may soon be over. News 8's Jobin Panneker has tonight's WFAA original, a look at the final days of the only barber shop at DFW Airport. Get a good haircut, get a good shine when you have the time. I've been blessed to be out here for a long time. Places like this are hard to find. Even my kids, they started out here shining. Watch step getting down. How you doing? All right, how are you? Fine. It took Dwight Hunter years. I was here when I was 17. Just to realize. I was still in high school. That this was his calling. There's three of us here, we can get you. Four decades in. Just have a seat. 43, 43 years. Work like this does not go out of style and here, People don't either. Ms. Ann. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who needs service with a smile when it's better with a laugh? People come and go by the looks of the Wall of Fame. Yeah, that's Rayfield, right? Big people. Well, Damien, you but there's a man at the center of all of this. I look like him, don't I? Some folks think I'm him. Dwight's father, Harmon, started this shop, nearly lost the home to do it. What, uh, <clears throat> Talking about him in here, is never easy. A man who uh, had a sixth grade education. Street smarts and swagger he also had to land any deal anywhere. You watching the world walk by. Shoe shine, sir. Shine him up. A world in motion meets a world in motion. Final boarding call. Here at DFW Airport, walk-ins are not only welcome. Shoe shine, shoe shine. They look good, but I can make them look better. They are reality. What about you, sir? Shine them up today? You got millionaires walking by. Come on, let's go get down with it. You got regular Johns walking by. All right, sir. We don't know who. That's why Dad said always treat others like you want to be treated. <laughs> the mantra since day one, the same day Harmon placed this Bible here. That's been in the family for a minute. Back when Braniff Airlines existed, haircuts were $5 and smoking inside was a thing. I think I am the last of the mom and pops out here, though. Yeah. I know I'm the last mom pops out here. Love you here, ma'am. Love you here. Look nice. But even in a place as open as this, some things are just too hard to share, even with the regulars. Oh, you see, man, heard y'all closing. That's why you know about that. After 43 years, Dwight says he's been told changes to the terminal are coming, and plans do not include his DFW barbershop. To look back at uh, 43 years, it's a. Uh, this is a landmark. It's a legacy. Thank you for visiting Dallas Fort Worth. That's hard to build in our fast paced come and go world. Shoe shine, sir. Shine them up for you. Shoe shine. But one place made you stop. My brother. He's in whoop dead ears. Shoe shine. <laughs> all right, all right. Thank you, sir. Now that's hard to find. 748, going to departure. Come back and see us again. All right. All right. Jumping Panicker. <laughs> Channel 8 News. Quite the